Hey guys, welcome to another lunchroom review. Today I'm going to try this El Monterey Signature Chipotle Chicken Egg Chicken and Cheese Sauce Burrito. Um, it's like a breakfast burrito. Um, we bought these at Kroger. They were $1 a piece, so not too awful bad. It's 4.5 ounces or 128 grams. It says real scrambled eggs, fresh baked tortilla, 12 grams of protein. Um, calorie wise, that makes a lot of noise. Um, hopefully you can see that. It's 270 calories. Um, Tammy will have a picture at the end, but that's that's the information right there. Um, so, to make this, directions are right here. You can do this in the oven. I've never made a, one of these burritos in the oven before, but you can. I guess you could probably do a toaster oven, too, if you want to. Um, so, I'm going to do the microwave, of course. So, you're going to take the um, on a high, cook one burrito at a time. Open one end of the package to vent, and if it's frozen, which it is, cook it for one minute and 20 seconds and let it sit one minute before eating. So you basically just pop the end open and heat it up right in the back. So that's what I'm going to do. It doesn't say anything about turning it or flipping it or anything like that while it's cooking. So I'm going to get this in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, here it is out of the microwave and I did cut it. I mean, you can kind of see what the insides look like. There's the eggs and the all that good stuff, the chicken and cheese and all that good stuff. So I'm going to let this cool out. I'll probably cut it in a, in a, like one more time like this just to make it easier to eat on video. I wouldn't normally cut it like this, but well, I might if it depends on how hard it is to eat. Um, but I found if I cut it into pieces like that, it's, it's just easier to just grab a piece and go. So I'm going to be uh, right back. All right. Didn't let it sit really any time at all. I just carried it over here and started recording. So... has big hunks of eggs in it, which is, um, which is quite good. Um, adds a good texture to it. It is spicy. Um, it will literally give you a tingle in the back of your throat. So it is a spicy food. The, uh, the smokiness of the Chipotle, that's what comes through. It's the smoky, really the only flavor I'm getting is a smoky Chipotle flavor and then the tingle in the back of my throat. If there's any chicken in here, I sure can't taste it. But I also can't taste the eggs or the uh, the cheese or anything else. Like I said, it's all it's all chipotle uh, sauce. One thing I do like about them is the the tortilla itself is very tender. It didn't dry out and get hard and crusty and crispy like the um, like they sometimes do. I just leaving it in that package, let it steam a little bit and let it stay softer. So even these these very end pieces, they're a little tougher than the center, but they're still not hard because I've had them that were so crunchy it was like you're eating a tortilla chip almost. Um, these aren't like that. They they're really good. So if you like that um, smoky chipotle flavor. I think you'll like this. It does have a little spice. So if you don't like spice, of course you wouldn't want to get it. But um, but if you like that Chipotle flavor, you'll like this. This is that. But that's all it is. I wish some of the other flavors came through, like the uh, like the egg and the cheese. But um, but it, it's good for what it is. You definitely get that Chipotle flavor. Um, I'm gonna give it like a three and a half. Um, I do think they're good burritos, but it is a one note burrito. And it's literally all one flavor. So, um, so yeah, if they had a little bit better combination or a balance of flavors, I probably would have liked it a lot better. But when one flavor kind of takes over everything, um, it, it's gonna get rated a little bit lower. Three and a half is still pretty good. It's a little bit better than average. So, so anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.